taught me everything I know about music, man. There are specific records, classic hip hop records, that I remember either hearing in the basement for the first time or in B's house for the first time. To be honest with y'all, all I can say is this was a great man, a great dude, a positive dude, and a motherfucking musical genius. Like, his beats were ridiculous. And I think that he was, like, he was just so advanced at what he did. He was way older than me, but it, it just seemed like we was brothers, or he was more like an uncle to me, and I was like his nephew, you know what I mean? Telling me about, you know, his experiences in the game. I think they was calling themselves the SOBs at the time, Sons of Bastards, and I always, I thought it was hard. I liked it. And then when I heard him, I was just like, no, you know, you know, just sit. You know what I'm saying? I told my cousin, I was like, yo, I like the Sun Beats over there. Me and Tommy, we've been hitting the books. And those who are trying to ride the wave, they've been giving us dirty looks. Straight yeah, off the a little too much for some of y'all to deal with. In this game, with King Vince, follow our lead. Hot one. People never really heard him, and they should have heard him. Right, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so yeah. this is my, this is me trying to do my part. Right, right. Sure. That what I've been trying to get him to do for the 40 years that we knew each other and probably for a time we was 15 when he really started getting serious in music. Right. What I have been trying to get him to do for all them 25 years that I feel didn't happen. This is my attempt to try to get right. some of that out right. into the air. You know what I'm saying? Classical rap, classical rap, classical rap, classical rap, classical rap. True talent, a gift, has no boundaries, you know, real boundaries. Because there's a the, the limit, there's no limit, you know what I'm saying? To, to, you know, to what you can you know, create while you're moving forward in your craft. From the first time I seen him, like, you know, whatever, everything he was doing, so bringing beats over through and just bringing his beats, I was like, you know, I, it was an honor for me, like, you know, like, just to, like, because I always ask questions, you know? The fact that he was older than me, you know, and, you know, like, I learned a lot, you know, like, from little things, you know? Um, I always ask him questions, even though we never, like how you said, I never actually got to go to a studio. But I mean, I've heard his material. He was a fucking musical genius, man. Damn, you know, this, like I looked up to this nigga. Um, he got me into doing beats, you know what I'm saying? His, his beats are just amazing, man. You have crazy good stuff there. Crazy good stuff. This guy probably record maybe thousands of songs. This guy's flavor or this guy's ear was so in tune. There's some of the tracks I sit back, I was like, yeah, I don't like that track. But then when he tunes it up, it was like, yo, I'm feeling it. I mean, beat-wise, I mean, wow. I mean, B was hip-hop. You know what I'm saying? If you don't say that word, you know, enough anymore. I mean, now we just rapping. B was hip-hop. And hip-hop is a way of life. It's, is, is you gotta breathe, eat, sleep, and shit hip hop. You know what I'm saying? And B was definitely that. Right. Come on, you can't do that to this. You can't squat box to this. You can't walk it out to this. But this is what we do. Bounce, step, move to the middle. Do a little spin move, lean just a little. Pose in the b-boy stance, hold our nuts. Ladies with the freaking dress, come and shake your butts. Like bounce, step, move to the middle. 
do a little spin move, lean just a little. Pose in the B boy stance, hold our nuts. Ladies with the freakum dress, come and shake your butt. Yo, your boy don't be dancing the jig, or just fall back. Play the corner rail with a club, my New York swag. Drink in hand, bouncing gangsta walk in the square. Hollering at something, spitting real talk in the air. I'm in my had one too many zone, I'm washed. Leaning on some honey, shaking at him, holding my crotch. We open up the cypher if you're with it, come on in. Flex, drop the bomb to this, we do it one more again. B flat had the official basement. It was the official basement. I mean, before BET, before Tiggy had the official basement, it was all always grungy down there. I mean, as soon as you walked in the door, I was like, oh, you gotta, you know what I'm saying? Duck crates and duck the wall and shit peeling off the wall. It was dark and grungy, but it just set the, it always set the mood, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the type of zone you wanted to be in when you was recording down in B's basement. It's like 112th Street, what you call the, the, the dungeon or the grungeon. We had so many people come through that that space to get a B flat track. And the B flat track was the track that that everybody came to get. Boom, and they took it to wherever they took it to, they got put on. But they never came back. And said, yo, B, yo, thanks a lot, good looking, nothing. It was just like running up in, you know, in a, in a whore. That was, and B, was, B kept it real, like, that's all right, I got more. I got more, don't worry about that. Everybody that do music in Corona, East Elmers, Jamaica, maybe Long Island City, everybody come to a B. And B never turned down an artist. B record everybody. Just that. If you wanted to record, you could have been whack. You know what I'm saying? If you wanted to record, and you were serious about it, even if you was whack. B was the type of dude to be like, he'll give you time and not even charge you. You know what I'm saying? That's how much he loved music. He had an eye for talent, man. Like, he didn't work with nobody who was on no bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't gonna even say no names, but like a lot of these cats that's out here right now, I know if they came to be like, yo, son, can I get a track? He probably would have did it, but, you know, he probably wouldn't have felt good about it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it is what it is. Like, he had an ear for real shit, man. You know what I'm saying? And all the people he fucked with was real people, man. A lot of moments we spent and times together, you know? And then, it would happen. We just take something simple and it just, it just grow on it, you know, and um, bloom on it and it just blossom into a work of art. This is the game that we play right there, right there, right there. It's like that, it's like that, it's like that. The door. Top. I'm sort of like a marksman, or maybe a scientist releasing a dark plan. Call me Jaws cause I maneuver like a shark fam. I keep a shorty with a fatty and a dark tan. Oh that's your wifey man? You should have came up with a nicer plan. Should have platinum coated and iced the hand. But you can have a back, I'm not a babysitter. You think I'm trying to cuff her? You must be crazy nigga. You tripping off for of the way I display the trigger It's nothing for me to approach, spray the shit up First I'ma spray the car up, then I'ma spray the crib up After that I'ma blow in the barrel like later nigga Like that, like that, like that Then close the door, put on the light There was plenty of nights where him and I used to stay up Just, I used to do music upstairs and him, I'm banging music upstairs, he's banging music in the basement, and I'm like, yo, I got something I need B to work on, because I just need something extra. 
brought it downstairs. So yo B man, help me with this. I mean, B comes from the era of, um, I would say, you know, sampling. You know what I'm saying? So we just had that sample, that sampling, crackle in the music. You know what I'm saying? Like, a, you know, you know that sound like when you hear a, 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 a old school record playing. That was that was B sound. You know what I'm saying? And um, he perfected it, man. He really, really, really perfected it. musically man what was it like for you being able to work with your brother man and then also to know that listening to him like your brother was a musical genius man i mean he could have ran with the best of them he could run with the best yeah, producers man. that was out there hands down yes and you had that in your basement at your disposal whenever you wanted it what was that like? yo it was yo, it was just like a kid in the candy store man because I would, well, not really, because sometimes, like, I would come down and I'll hear him banging some tracks, and I'm like, yo, son, that's hot. What's up with that? And, like, B was real, he was real particular with stuff, and he knows, he's like, nah, this one is not for you. And he, like, it just hands off. I'll come ask him for the same track three or four times. Nah, that's for so and so. So there was ser several tracks that B had, like, nah, that's for DK. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, nah, he wouldn't let me touch it. As much as I used to beg it, yo, son, let me get that, man. DK ain't doing nothing with it. Yo, Lissandro ain't doing nothing with that. And B is like, nah, this is for them. And that was it. Like, he just wouldn't let me touch it, man. And But, you know, it, it, was, it was, it was, I loved them for it, man, because after they got on the track, I'm like, this was built for them. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't for me. And then B knew exactly, like, this one is for you. A beat maker is a person that'll just make up a whole bunch of beats and just give it to you and be like, do whatever you want. When B flat gave you a track, it was designed for you. You know what I'm saying? Like there was many a times I went down there and B flat was like, I was like, yo B, you gotta give me this track, man. I'll, I'll, I'll kill this track. And he'd be like, yo D, I know it's a hot beat. It's a hot track. But this one ain't for you. You know what I'm saying? He was so he 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 just had a vision of who or the type of sound that he wanted on on or the type of person or rapper or hip hop artist that he wanted on his track. And um that, that's how he did it, man. That's how he did it. Music is is a thing that actually makes people, it, it soothes the savage beasts. Because when people hear the tracks, they're like, yo, it's hot. You know, and they're sitting there, they're bobbing, they're smoking a little weed or whatever they're doing. You know what I'm saying? It's just like it takes them to another world. But B-flat tracks was just something that's like, yo, it just don't, it don't, it don't take you to another world. It takes you to another plane. It takes you to another universe. Because when you hear it, you know, B had that 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 air to the street that was that was so gritty and so grungy and it was just so spectacular. It was just like, yo, you can bump it in your car for like years to come and you never know whether it was ten years ago or whether it was ten years from now. It still he still had that 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 he was able to, to, to change with the times, but you couldn't tell what time it was because all his stuff was so tight. Sire, it is I, nugget of fan, a man I'm hot like fire. When will they understand it? Some people's the man from Atlanta, still nigga, big man on campus. 40 years sounds like it's a lot of time, but out of those 40 years, it really wasn't enough time. It's it's a waste that he gone so quick. He called a friend of his whose wife was a nurse and asked him asked her some certain questions about 
symptoms that he was having. She told him automatically, yo, you need to go to the hospital. Shit, man. I mean, I, st I still catch myself, you know, driving down his block and stopping and like, damn, wanting to go down there or, or walk down the driveway and just listen. That's how I used to know he was home. As soon as he found out it was stomach cancer, his whole mindset just started changing. He started getting scared. His words became slurred. Um, the despair started setting in quickly. It was the first person that I was close to that I seen cancer grab a hold on and take away really, 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 really fast. And the last thing that I recall is that when we talking to him, the only thing he could do is move his eyes. And that went on for seven days, eight days. Eight days later, he called me at five in the morning and said, he's gone. Understood. He never perpetrated or stated to be a thug Niggas never hated him or rated him Hollywood This was brotherly love, gave a nigga my blood Body a nigga for B-flat, probably would Tell Nugget, Derek, and David this one's for the buzz This one's for my nigga who's watching from up above What up, cuz? Easy does, it was what it was Just never ever question a lot for pulling a plug Never ever question a session with me and Nug Never question wish for spinning up in the club Look at Kia wrong, niggas gon' catch a slug We gon' lay these dudes out like Oriental rugs I wouldn't be rapping if it wasn't for B-flat Avoid the spike strips to your ties or B-flat Fuck Christopher Columbus, the world should be flat now bring it back. Uh, you know, I've known me from in the eighties until now, and you know, still, you know, still, you know, you know, carrying on the legacy as a great musician and you know, engineer. For the most part, B was really, 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 really a perfectionist man when it came to you know his music, man. And uh, again, like I said, a gift and a curse, man. It's just crazy how, how much stuff he had, and he never released it. Like I'm saying, like you know, like the material that he had. I'm like, wow, it's just, it's just crazy. We have under the sun there that I record with him, and never one day one release. I always tell him, why you don't release? Why you don't release? He, he always say, you know, I'm working on it, working on it. You know, <laughs> you know. <laughs> he always say that with a smile to you. <laughs> I said, come on, man, time is slipping away. Let's do it. One track, man, that we put together, it's called, we called it Music, and, yo, know, the shit was crazy. And that, that song was like B's bait. You know what I'm saying? That was like, that was like, and, and I remember, we were always talking about, yo, we need to put this out as a single, Let's put it out as a single. And B was always like, it's not ready yet. You know what I'm saying? If he wants it to be master, he wanted that song to be perfect. You know what I'm saying? He'll send other songs out on their way, like, yeah, here you go, take it, man. If you want to go take it to the to the, to the studio, two-track it, master it, go ahead. And mix it, master it, two-track it, go ahead. But that song, like, he wouldn't let it go nowhere until it was ready. And, you know, unfortunately, we never got it to the state that B felt it was ready. I mean, I felt like it was ready already, but, you know, this he got, a, he got an ear for it, man. So I just had to respect it, man. You know what I'm saying? From the days of soul to this hip hop I call my own music. Keep Listen, me. the 
come from no being a rough neck to miss school but made all my court dates They tell me young man pull your pants up and walk straight They used to stand on the corner huh? Hand to hand hustle huh? Bearing marijuana huh? Man to man tussle oh. Lay him on the ground Buck that clowns, the Giuliani came in, shut that down. I owe my life to this hip hop game. That's why I wrote this note for the love of this thing. So focused. Yo, man, he's a, he's a great man. Just like I said in my track, I, I consider B Flat the Dr. Dre of the hood. B Flat was our Dr. Dre. Dude. You know what I'm saying? He was our Dr. Dre. Dude. And I, I, I mean, no one knew that board. No one knew how to mix. And no one loved hip-hop as a producer. And, and let's be clear, like, there's a big difference between a producer and a beat maker. You know what I'm saying? B-flat was definitely a producer. So we that's it, man. We just gonna pop this off, man. This is for B, man. Love you, nigga. Love you, my dude.